Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, hope you guys are doing good. So I am back with another reaction video and another layout. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having fun creating these. So this is another one I created. Um, this reaction video for real broke my heart. Um, people have been sending me this and I did not realize that the girl, the employee at Walmart, it's now, you know, all over the news, the blogs that she was fired and she lost her job for basically being a good Samaritan. Um, and I think she also lost her job because you had a lot of really spiteful people who were going in in her comments and saying that she had no business posting this video, um, you know, and everything else. But let me go ahead and rewind that back a bit. So the backstory to this is that there's a young woman, she comes into Walmart. As we know, it's been cold all around the country, right? Up here in Minnesota. Well, today was about 40 degrees, so you know what I'm saying, that we're blessed right now. But last week, oh, it was definitely freezing. We hit a few negatives um, sometime last week or the week before, but it, it has been cold. This week is, you know, we're getting a little bit of a, a break. But all around the nation was cold. I remember talking to Emily down in Tennessee, I think it was like 13 degrees in Florida was cold. Like the whole country was under a cold freeze. Now this does take place in Mississippi, but even in good old Mississippi, honey, it was cold down there. From what I read, it was about 13 degrees that day. And the mother had enough wherewithal to make sure she was warm. Even had on some Mexican cowboy boots, honey. Okay. Made sure she had on some type of African bonnet. Um, so she had something on her head. Cause you know, if you put something on your head, it, you know, keeps the heat. She had on boots. But when it came to her beautiful, precious son, he had on nothing but a pamper. And so, you know, when she saw this, she was shocked and she started recording it and other, you know, shoppers came to confront the mother and eventually help her and her baby. So this entire video is really heartbreaking, especially now that I'm finding out that she was fired from her job because of this. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna react to it. So these are the news articles, the New York Post, the Daily Mail. Um, everyone is talking about this. And basically she's saying that she was fired from her job because of this situation. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the video. He came in here without the jacket on. Yeah, he did. That baby just had a pamper on. Yeah. Look at this baby shift. I can't. I just ran shivering. She literally throws cold french fries on him while this baby is shivering. This shit don't make no sense whatsoever. I don't do that. Somebody call police. No, no, what's wrong with you? Lawyer. Somebody call police on her. Who are you? Lord, my lord. Lord, your voice. Who are you? Get out that man. Get out that man's face, please. The fuck? You're crazy. Show me. I just break the way that I feel. And then twerk. What the hell? Somebody call the police on her. What? I've been called two times. I keep paying. So long as you got hot water, fire extinguisher. But when you come in the store fully dressed and your baby's not. Now, I'm going to call the cops right now. How many kids do you got? I got one. I'm going to call the cops right now. Oh, okay. So, it's next Miami. What you talking so because she don't have a whole bunch of kids that that does what to her argument and then the fact that she's saying that the police have been called several times and as long as she has hot water and a fire extinguisher it doesn't matter so this woman is a habitual line stepper okay she does not care about the welfare of her children if she's out here fully dressed in a sweater some mexican cowboy boots and a bonnet on she knew enough to dress you know a little bit warm and the baby's out with just a pamper, no socks, no hat. The baby's shivering. This is sick. She just say, that just say. Oh, baby. Oh, 
tell it's cold because the auntie got on a jacket she's wearing a hat and i'm just calling her auntie because she's an older woman um and she's getting she has more concern for this baby she went about the baby an outfit she's putting on the baby meanwhile the mom is just there taking phone calls hello what For those of you who are asking for an update, um, yes, she did go to jail. Yes, we did call the police. I mean, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? That's a crazy ass question to ask. When you see a child that's being neglected, don't have on any clothes, just a diaper, no shoes, no socks, no shirt, no nothing. So why wouldn't we call the fucking police? Why wouldn't we? And you know, I'm just going to ignore the hate and I'm going to ignore the crazy comments I'm not gonna respond to y'all I'm just gonna ignore y'all she asked me that I have a child in the video yes I do have a child he's deceased mm. but if my child was living my ain't no way in hell my child will be out there with no clothes on just a diaper so there you have it this your update. That is so sad. The fact that this young woman is breaking down crying, you can see her deceased baby in the background clearly. Okay. I don't know what issues the baby had, but the baby had tubes in his nose. The fact that people are more upset about her calling the police. I saw comments where folks were calling her a snitch. Why are you putting the phone on the mom? She's probably having a mental health crisis. Why you want to bring the police into it? We have been so groomed as a community to see the police as a bad thing and to see, you know, trying to, you know, call out foolishness as a bad thing that we'd rather sit here and attack the person who's actually stepping up. Imagine if nobody did anything and that mom ends up leaving that baby in a cold car or in a cold house or something happens to that child and that child ends up passing away. I used to have a whole news network and I can't tell you how many stories I did over the years of people killing their kids, kids being left outside in the cold, kids being left, you know, in the house and the house catches on fire because the mama was out clubbing or the daddy was at the casino. So these people do the right thing, including this Walmart employee and people attack her and call her a snitch and saying she's doing too much and she's looking for attention. My thing is, I, I put this on everything and she was anything but a black woman. She'd be praised. She'd be seen as a hero. And guess what? She would still have her job. She didn't cuss at that lady. All she was doing was recording evidence of a situation. The lady was more disrespectful and being very confrontational than anybody else was towards her. Now, I understand that everything does not belong on social media, but I look at her filming this as a teachable moment. It is cold outside and we have to start doing better. If you can't afford to take care of your kids, if you don't have the mental capacity, the wherewithal to take care of your children, then you, one, you shouldn't be having them. But we can't stop people from getting pregnant. So if you're going to have them, then you need to ask for help. You need to find resources. And there needs to be a village around people like her. Because obviously, I'm not saying that she's not dealing with mental health issues. I'm not saying that the mother couldn't be going through it. But where's her family? 
Where's her mom? Where's big mama? It's like we're so separated. Nobody's together anymore. Everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. If there was grandparents that were fully involved and invested in this child, there's no way she would even feel comfortable enough to go outside in 13 degree weather with the baby and just a pamper. So I feel so bad that this girl lost her job. Uh, she was interviewed by the Daily Mail. I'm going to go ahead and read this part of the article to y'all. Um, they said that she was not rostered to work last Thursday and Friday. And after reporting to work on Saturday, she was suddenly fired two hours before her shift ended. I took it upon myself to record it for the child's sake. No, I wasn't thinking about the consequences at the time. At the time, my main focus was on the innocent poor child to get him some help, she said. Now I'm jobless because I was trying to help save that baby's life. A fundraiser to pay Felicia's bills while she looks for a new job has amassed over $4,000. Former Planned Parenthood director Dr. Abby Johnson was one of many viewers horrified by the video after they reposted it to Twitter. It could be impossible for me to not grab that baby and hold him next to my body until he warmed up and stopped shaking. If this woman treats him like that in public, imagine what she's doing to him in private. So again, I don't think she was wrong for filming this. I think this was a teachable moment and that's why she posted it. But you know, unfortunately, sometimes when you post things, you know what I'm saying? They can be consequences and the consequences was her losing her job. But even with that, look at the blessings that have come her way. She's already amassed $4,000 on GoFundMe. Things like that, I get. Those type of GoFundMe's make sense. She got put in a situation that was something she really couldn't control. She didn't see, you know what I'm saying, the big deal in what she was doing and she lost her job. And I'm sure she has bills and things like that to pay. So hopefully that money will help her until she's able to find something else. But for the people who are knocking her and saying that she's a snitch and how dare she call the police on that mom instead of trying to help her behind the scenes, she did the right thing. And like I said, if this was anybody but a black woman, she'd be praised as a hero. Nobody would be calling her nosy. Nobody would be calling her black Karen. She'd be praised. I'd rather her record what's going on, call the police, because she they didn't just record and, and, and talk shit to the mother. They actually called authorities and got the police involved because something there is not clicking with the mother. And like I said, she might be going through it. It might be some postpartum where she may have another baby that we don't know about. You know, she could be going through whatever. But that does not negate the fact that this little boy is shivering and she still does not have enough empathy and compassion for her child to not throw a bag of frozen french fries on his legs. And it was clear that somebody gave him a coat. That was a patent leather female jacket. I don't know if it was the, the Walmart employee that gave the baby that coat or somebody else in the store. But she deserved to have the police caught on her and I feel no type of ways. Kudos to that Walmart employee. We need more people like that. We need to stop with this mentality of, it ain't my business. They ain't got nothing to do with me. You could tell by that little boy's eyes that he was silently crying for help. He didn't know how to verbalize, he didn't know how to verbalize it because he ain't but one or two years old. But you could tell his home life is not happy. That is not the energy that a child who's happy at home, who's doing well, who's thriving, that's not the energy that they possess. That little boy looks sad and broken. At the end of the day, she's an unfit mother. She was fully dressed while her own child was not. And then you guys also have to understand the woman at Walmart, the Walmart employee situation. Because again, we're on the outside looking in. I didn't even know she had a dead child until she talked about it. So maybe for her, it hit her so different. Whereas some of us are watching it like, dang, that's messed up. She got a whole child in the cemetery. That if she could, she'd rather her baby be here with her, and that she would never put her to, and she would never put her child in that type of situation or in harm's way. So to me, she did nothing wrong. And regardless if social media likes how she handled it or not, regardless if y'all think that she's a black Karen or not. She handled the situation properly. She got the proper authorities involved and most likely changed the trajectory of that child's life. Most likely got that child help and even the mother help if she's willing to take it. And who knows if there's other siblings in the household. 
that might be at the household also suffering. So I'm glad this video went viral. I'm sorry that she lost her job, but I'm glad something better is coming out of this. So this whole situation was just heartbreaking. It was just really sad to watch that baby in that basket with just the jacket on shivering and the mother just not caring. She'd rather twerk and be on her phone than actually be a mother to her child. We need to stop with the BS excuses because again, if they would have not did anything, and then we heard on the news two weeks later that that child died. And then the people at that Walmart recognized that child from being in the Walmart two weeks before. Imagine how much more messed up that situation would have been. So that is my reaction to this whole situation. Let me know y'all's thoughts down below. What do y'all think about this? Do you guys think that Walmart was in the right to fire her? Do you guys think she was doing too much? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to seeing your comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.